Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy Literal with Creation Depot, and today it's going to be relatively a short video, but I wanted to show you this super dark mode on Google Chrome. Now, you can have a dark mode for Google Docs, and you can have a dark mode for Google Sheets, anything basically that arrives in Chrome. Now, this one extension that I'm going to show you, it, it applies to all sites everywhere. So once you install it, it will automatically kick on at a certain time and turn off at a certain time. And you don't have to worry about that part of it. But like all the extensions that I tried, like I probably spent a good couple hours on this trying to figure out a good dark extension because honestly, a lot of them have a lot of bugs, you know, it's just, they're just, they're just glitchy. And it's, you know, this is the one probably with the least amount of bugs that I found. It's not a true, true dark mode, but I think it's slightly better um, how they went about it. And it, the whole, the whole science behind dark mode, just in case you're curious, is that when you're looking at an image like this, a whole bunch of light is being emitted to your eyes because black absorbs light where white emits light. So if you make most of the screen dark, that's why it's easier to look at at night because only a little bit of light is getting through versus this, which is the daytime where it light is getting diffused with other lights that we have on in the room, right? So, or the sun in theory, right? So that's the science behind it. Let's get over to the dark mode. So the one that I landed on was this one right here with um, over 100,000 users. Um, it's been around for a while. Uh, the super dark mode offered by High Soft. Now, I chose this one not because of the ratings. I chose it because I literally went through almost all of the ones you see down here. This one right here, the dark theme for Chrome was a closed contender, but it just was, ah, uh, it was just glitchy enough that I found it was going to be annoying. So I, so I skipped it. All right. So it's super dark mode is what you do to install it. And I will have this link down in the comments or I guess the description box below and all you need, or you can just go over to your extensions and type in super dark mode and it will come up hit add to Chrome, add extension, and it will install it. And you'll see it's over here on the right. Now hold on to your seats because they open up like a thousand, like 5,000 like um, tabs here. So the tabs are really annoying. I just hit control W, close them all out. Basically because they give the extension for free, they're trying to get you to buy their other stuff. All right, so what we wanna do is go over here to our bar, but you see that their extension is not up here. So what gives? Click on the, the puzzle, pop down to super dark mode and hit pin, and that will put it in your extensions bar in Chrome. All right, so from here, I wanted to start, this is where we start running into some of the bugs. So just FYI, my tab is already open. I've got stuff written in here. If we hit the toggle and we wait and we wait and nothing happens because what's happened is, is this tab is already open and we're manually turning this to over to dark mode, but the tab has not gone through like the extension. So every time you load a new page in Chrome, that it runs, then runs through all the extensions. Well, we've installed this extension, but we didn't do anything with it. So we have to refresh the page. So pop over here to your refresh button or click control R and see that nothing is still happening because it hasn't gone through like a new reset of the extension. So you need to come over here and then toggle it again. <laughs> I know it's annoying, but that's, that is the logic behind why it doesn't work. So the extension does work, but it's, it's handicapped by the way that Chrome is bringing in the extensions. So from here, what you want to do is you want to go over to, this looks really great. And I do prefer this over say the background being completely black, right? Cause it's just a softer gaze on your eyes. This is the same reason that you see a lot of like news websites won't use black ink on oh, ink. They don't use black fonts on their white pages because they use a dark gray because it's easier to read more amounts of content. And the easier it is for the user to read your site, the longer they stay on it. Same thing that's being applied here. There's variations of gray, but let's say you really need that contrast because you know, you have a vision impairment or something like that. Right? So there are a lot, a lot of options with this one. Um, too many options in my opinion, and it's really hard to read them. So what you want to do is come up here to your toggle. Instead of left clicking on it, you want to right click on it and go down to options. That brings up an open a new tab and you know, they say, thank you. Put your rating here. They just kind of slam you in the face with a bunch of different things to look at. And then they want you to donate over here. Like they could do with some remodeling on this page in my opinion. So top left 
auto on and off. So if you check this, it will do um, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. where it will switch over to the dark mode. Again, not for all tabs that are already open, right? You gotta wait for the tabs to, you gotta refresh the tabs, right? But you don't have to toggle it on and off. It will just automatically do it for anything new that you open. So, but there's a catch with that. So if you are working over here and you toggle it on and off, your this will automatically uncheck. Like it will uncheck itself. So it doesn't stay. <laughs> so there's something to keep in mind is that, you know, if you want to set it and forget it, that's a great option. But if you decide to turn it on and off manually, like in the winter, it gets darker earlier, you know, either you have to come in and change your times or you're going to just be stuck in manual mode. Anyway, so whatever stops working, that's why. All right, let's jump over here to number three. Number two is just the list of all the ones that they already have accounted for, um, for enabling a like a special dark mode. And like certain sites have different things that they have dark or light. So they've gone through and made custom CSS files, which is the styling for these different ones. So that's what that's all about. But for over here, um, if you need to choose a custom dark theme for all websites, um, you can go ahead and check either the classic or the modern. You can choose to go with their recommended. I will say that their recommended one looks so much like their classic one. I couldn't tell what the differences were and I didn't know if I was seeing a bug or if there just weren't any differences. So either one's fine. I would go ahead and check this one just because this is the one that's likely to get updated if they ever do roll out updates. So there you go. All right. Enable the dark pattern theme. Um, if you did think about this is smart invert up here. This is, this is a beta thing. I recommend don't doing a beta stuff ever because it usually will, will just ruin your day. Um, but enabling the dark theme, the pattern dark theme, I'm not a fan of this. So I leave it unchecked. Number five is adjusting the bright. These are the really the only two. The starred ones are the ones that you need to focus on. The adjusting the contrast and brightness for all sites. You have to check it in order to move the toggle. Um, I'm going to leave it at this for now and come back to show you what it does. But down here is if you whitelist, if you have a site that you don't want the dark theme to ever be applied to, you would put that in here. And then down here, this is where if you have a little programming language and you're comfortable writing CSS, you would put that in here and then you can hit save and apply. You have to hit save and apply or none of this stuff will stick, right? It can't just do it and it's going to remember like auto save for you. It doesn't do that. So hit save and apply come over here again it may or may not work you have to hit toggle untoggle toggle untoggle or you have to refresh the page to get if you made any serious changes now well I will show back here and show you this excuse me this contrast and brightness let's say I really want it to be a really dark theme and I barely want to see anything I'm not wild about how it handles this so we'll hit save and apply again come over here and do your toggle jump look how dark you can make it. Like you can barely make out anything that's on this page, right? So I recommend you just kind of keep it at the default anyway. If you need to make it just a little darker, let's do that. Let's try like 80%. Let's see where that gets us. See, that's a little bit better, right? It's a little bit lighter than maybe the original setting, but I, I don't find that feature where it makes everything darker. I would have preferred it did something like a CSS change where it made maybe the background was darker dark gray or something, you know, and the text changed to white, you know, something like that. Now, again, there's CSS here that you can write CSS and, and overwrite it, but I tried a little bit earlier with my CSS knowledge and it did not work for me. So, um, I can't tell if it's just, it doesn't like the, the way that I'm put inputting it or if it doesn't like it was correct. Um, or if it's just not working. So that's what I mean. It's this is the best one for the option, but it's not, great. You know, there, there are problems with it. It's a work in progress. Um, and I'm sure they know, you know, I'm sure people with all those ratings and everything, all those downloads, I'm sure that they have been told, you know, where the problems are. Um, but again, back up here at number one, number we checked that and it's unchecked now because we use that toggle button. So that's, that's the long and short of it. I think it is the best one for, for what you get, you know, it is free, you know, so you can't really argue too much, but Google doesn't have their own and this is a pretty decent alternative of all the ones that I reviewed. And I did go through many of them. So if this helped you out, please don't forget to make the YouTube gods happy and like the video. It helps promote the video. So it's kind of like giving me a little like virtual tip for future ad pay, you know, so it works out pretty well. So 
Otherwise, if you have questions, put the questions in the comments below. And uh, yeah, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.